Good morning, traders. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let me know if you can hear uh, me good. I'm today at the Academy in Italy uh, with uh, Amar Bear, also uh, traders over here from the States. So it's a pleasure always to have traders and uh, sharing, I would say, ideas. So good morning. Good morning, Felix. Good morning, everybody. So first of all, uh, read the disclaimer. So remember everything that uh, we share in these uh, bookmap webinars are for educational purpose only. So don't take them as an investment advice. Uh, our goal is to educate traders, help traders to succeed. I have a trading room uh, called Small Cap Room where we trade small caps and we trade uh, large caps and options. I've been trading since 99, 2000 and uh, from 2017 I started uh, learning and studying uh, small caps. I ended up like liking also small caps, so now I trade small caps and I continue with my futures and large cap as I was doing before. Uh, today we had uh, some good calls. Uh, we start very early in pre market. Uh, good morning, Tom, Martin, Steven, Forrest, good uh, morning, everybody. So, uh, one stock that we we're been trading was uh, uh, Invo or INVO. This is a uh, day two. So yesterday you can see that we start after hours, so some big extension. And uh, over here, this is timestamps from the room. You can see the trading room at 228. So this is my 828, right? I'm over here based in Italy. At exactly this point, uh, 1.44, I alerted the long. And I explained over here, uh, uh, Jay, so Jason next to me, we are looking with my beer at these trades. And this is a setup that we like in the room. Uh, we have over here a nice consolidation with bookmap. <clears throat> you can see I also made uh, traders the, uh, the circle over here, the lips. So you can see where the volume started to, to come in. Uh, what you see that the yellow line is the actual uh, volume profile. Okay, so this is not VWAP, this is a volume profile. And uh, <clears throat> you can see over here POC. Okay, so it's the point of control. It means that that level that you see over here in that moment is where we have uh, the majority volume traded. Uh, thank you, Christopher from uh, Australia. I would love to see Australia one day. I simply love it there, your uh, wildlife, nature and everything. So it's gonna be uh, beautiful, okay? <clears throat> uh, let me know traders if you can hear me good. Uh, if you have also question and everybody else. Uh, so IMVO is a small cap and as usual, we have to take these small caps uh, really with uh, precision, even more than large caps. Sometimes large cap, you have a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, yesterday, for example, was a day where we didn't have a lot of large cap trades, but we had a lot of small caps. Monday was the versus. Uh, because in the afternoon and in the morning, we trade a lot of AMD and Tesla. So it really depends what the market offers us. We are day traders. IT is day trading and a specific trading strategy. So with the manual, with the playbook, and all my strategies are back tested uh, over time. Uh, good morning, Tibor. Uh, thank you, Felix. Uh, so first of all, uh, we're going to review uh, the plan uh, for both uh, small cap room and also uh, traders who have bookmap, so they are part of the Discord channel. I shared the pre-market plan, so you simply need to go over here, traders, and you can see the pre-market plan that, you know, on Wednesday I like to share also for the bookmap users. So we're going to review yes and Q, uh, AMD, Amazon, Tesla, uh, you all, uh, which has earnings, you know, American Airlines. And also over here, I posted timestamps of the short we took on VNDA win, long win, and then a beautiful long over here home run on IMBO. <clears throat> uh, so we'll start over here with IMBO. Uh, this over here is, a, as we said, a small cap. Right now is the highest uh, gap. Uh, so we were, at the moment of the entry, 1.44. It got almost to 240. Uh, the micro float is over here, 2.72 million. So we're talking really about a small float. 
and uh, look at the volume. We trade over here something like 22 million. So we have like flow rotated like more than eight times already. And that's like an incredible amount of volume. In the past, you can see that we had three gappers above 30%. Uh, two times over here, we close uh, green on the day and one time we close red. You can simply click here and go and check, you know, how the price action was. So for example, day one, we had a big extension from the Zenos and VWAP. Uh, this other day over here, so we're talking about the uh, 1023, we had uh, another big extension. And the first day over here was instead a uh, gap and crap simply faded. So today, I'm gonna write over here now on, uh, on our plan in watch list. So we're gonna update. Uh, we have IMVO, so remember, uh, we have over here a micro float, uh, multiple uh, flow rotation. Uh, pre market, we got a long alert with timestamps at 1.44, uh, 2.30, and then I said trail with a simple 9MA. Again, the timing came from the system giving the long, and also here where you see the break of the point of control in that volume. This is one of the best strategies you can trade both in pre-market and during the day. And now my plan is going to be plan A. So for the history of the stock, we're going to look for a wash into a key level. So I'm looking ideally for uh, J lines for VWAP too long. Otherwise, plan B. We're gonna look for the 240, 250, key level, too short. Key level, too short. And we're gonna use bookmark over here and strategies like uh, the ones that we teach in the room, okay? So this is for IMVO. Uh, now let's look into the large caps, the stock that we have today. Uh, but before I want to go over ES. So I'm going to do this so that you can see the full picture. This is what ES is doing. Uh, two main plans over here. So you can see ES in the last three days, we are in a sideways range, right, Jay? And uh, I'm not looking to trade inside this range because you can often be faked out. You can be like trapped. Uh, there's not going to be a high liquidity until we don't have a break of this level, uh, 51.20 or a breakdown of 50, 50, 70, 75. So have a little bit of patience and wait that we have direction. Uh, what I've seen that often in this market, we tend to have traps into the key areas. And this is really because the big hands trap the retailer. So this could be a push above the 51.17, 51.20. And then on our reversal pattern, lower high, we're gonna look for a short. Uh, first target, we're gonna be over here the midway. So 50% uh, 50, 50 fib retracement, so around 5,100. Also important the whole around the number. And then ideally an unwind over here to this previous support. You can see also over here, this was a previous support. We had a fake breakdown and right away back up. At this level also, you see not only the supply area, but you also see here the uh, pivot point. Uh, what I suggest is that um, you have this was a dip. Yeah. That you have also uh, book map up to spot those key levels and see if we have confluence of liquidity. Uh, do you agree with the plan? Yes, sir. Jay was saying another thing. So Jay stayed for Jason. So I'm not talking to myself in third person. <laughs> Uh, he was saying that we could also have over here, instead of a push, simply a breakdown of this level. So in case we have a break in this level, so the VWAP and this uh, 5100, on a retest of this level, we could be looking for a short and unwind and agree with the plan. Okay, so if the market will push, I'm going to stay uh, firm on my ideas. So we're going to follow our plan, respect our plan, which is one of the most important reasons or I would say it's one of the most important um, errors that traders do. They don't respect their plan. They have no patience in uh, respecting and waiting that the plan 
happens. I ask you sorry, Curtis, because I have a big allergy over here in Italy. Uh, so you're gonna hear me a little bit uh, with uh, with some uh, some cough. Uh, the next one is N NQ. NQ is the same as that plan of yes. We are uh, stuck in this trading range. So this is a, a consolidation. Again, if we break and fail back below, we're looking to short. Uh, otherwise, the next level that I'm looking to short is gonna be the 18 over here, 18,000, uh, 1850. Uh, vice versa. If we have a very strong push, I'm not going to trade it long for now. I'm going to simply wait that we are above here at 1850 and then we have a, a bounce play. This is Tesla. So Tesla from this breakdown, you can see over here that everything start collapsing the 15. Uh, so this was a Monday. We had a first breakdown. Uh, we had also this breaking of the major trading range. And this was lasting over here for a month a month. So we are mid-March. We got over here till mid-April. Uh, we were stuck on this range. So you can see over here the resistance 185, 160 support. And now we're react, actually retesting that level of demand that now become a, became a supply. So one idea today is that we can break this trend line and for intraday purposes, even if we are still inside the previous day ra trading range, we can have a rejection, okay? And we're looking for the 155. So my level over here to trade this morning is gonna be, or a push to this area over here, and I'm gonna look for a sell zone. So over here, I'm looking for a rejection, and I'm spotting this with uh, a book map. You can see that I already have this up, so important for me is to check once the price will be over there, the major point of liquidity. So where we can have that rejection, right? And uh, you can see that 160 is where we have now the highest liquidity. So a push into this area, a spike fast at the gate, and a rejection could lead to a very good, uh, let's say unwind, and ideally 150, which is my, uh, let's say, swing target. Another way, if we break down instead this support 158, so that's the actual price, and we have a first rejection over here, uh, then we're looking to buy puts 155, so we're still a little bit more out of the money, and we're looking for this unwind till 155, 156. You can see over here that this is uh, looks like the major catalyst, okay, so the major level of demand. Uh, remember always. Uh, even before I said with a disclaimer, these are not investment advice. Okay, if you want to learn, if you want to learn the strategy, every day I teach and I share uh, my charts, my trades, in uh, uh, in our trading room. So stay uh, with Tesla on your watch because this could be, or at least for me, will be a possible setup to trade. Uh, not looking over here in Vita this morning. Uh, we are outside the previous trading range, so this is a good point. But I will be looking at NVIDIA only if the market will be pushing. So only if the market, so yes and Q, will actually have a decent breakout, then I'm starting to look for long plays above 885, okay? So only above this 885, we can start looking for longs. Uh, Microsoft is stuck in this trading range, so for now, uh, waiting. Met over here, uh, waiting for now. And I wanted to cover over here, Amazon and Nvidia. So Amazon, this is our hourly chart. Uh, by the way, traders, we're having over here a potential VNDA uh, long play. So start watching also VNDA. So we'll be seeing that in about 15 minutes still. So we have time even to cover some more small caps. Uh, this is uh, Amazon. Uh, let's look into the daily chart, okay? So long-term trend is bullish, uh, and I'm talking about uh, the last year, okay? Uh, Short-term trend, we're bearish, sorry, medium-term trend, we're uh, bullish, and short-term trend over here, 
So we're talking about the, the last week. Uh, we are small bearish over here. Okay, we're still holding this major and important level, which is uh, 182, uh, 183. Uh, the price is in this consolidation. We could have over here two plays this morning. So a push into the 185 over here on rejection or high with demands with supply zone on book map. I will be looking to buy 180 puts, so we're staying a little bit more of the money. And this 183, uh, 182.50 will be our target. Uh, vice versa, if the market will be very strong, so if we're gonna have a lot of liquidity uh, pushing on the futures, uh, market spy cues uh, strong, then we're looking for a breakout of the 185 because it's a major key level, it's uh, also whole round of a number and I will be choosing the 190 calls uh, because we have this major previous high over here, this catalyst. So that is our uh, medium term target, right? So that is our target over here. And uh, I'm gonna only buy it, you know, after pullback. Essentially, uh, the play that I'm looking or that me and Jason over here are looking is uh, not to buy this dip over here so not to buy this dip over here because often we can have fake breakouts, right, Jay? Yes. But we're gonna wait for a push and then I, I'm looking to buy, we're looking to buy a pullback. So we're looking to buy a, a less uh, risk structure uh, that gives you a very low risk entry. You're not buying breakouts and you're looking for that second wave up. The reason why you're also buying pull, pullbacks and this is not uh, traders tell you is because on the pullback over here, uh, what do you have? You have essentially that the shorts or the sellers in this case have proved to not be any more able to push it down and to sell it because already over here you're forming a higher low and then of course you start seeing for buying liquidity and this will push back up, okay? So look at these uh, setups here. Uh, the last one is AMD. And AMD is uh, interesting. So we have this on bookmap. Let me double check if I put it. So we have Tesla, Meta, Amazon. Uh, I put over here AMD. <clears throat> so in this case, hourly J lines. Uh, it's a good level of uh, supply all of these stocks okay are going to be traded by the way look at why is it still extending from that j-line curve we're going to discuss this soon and also over here the long play that is giving right now on vnda uh, okay so we have vnda and wise up long j-line curve plays uh, so amd over here is uh, a major supply area, okay? So you can see that we have uh, uh, resistance from here. We can even enlarge this a little bit. And uh, could be, yes, could be a two plays over here. So one play, as Jay is saying, could be a reverse head and shoulders. So that we could have actually have a reversal here because uh, we have over here a first uh, wave down, a third wave here, okay? First, second, and third, so this could give us a, a bounce play. So AMD, okay, could give us that play. Uh, we're gonna put this uh, over here. I like to put it blue when I'm looking for, uh, for long play. So let me put this blue. There we go. On the other side, we also saw that when the price gets over here to, for example, the sour J lines, okay, it tends to reject. So if futures indexes, okay, will be weak, then we're gonna look simply for this structure, buying puts 160 and target over here, 159, 160, okay? So, uh, double play over here again on AMD 
it depends really where the future will push so AMD plan long and short and always be ready for this now let's pass into the large caps uh, sorry into the small caps uh, first of all IMVO uh, again this morning uh, we had these levels of uh, resistance so 164 two dollars and 230 234 uh, the long play over here was a nice uh, Jalen curl, uh, 144. Uh, the last partial would show with the 9MA over here into the 215. And now it's pulling back. As we said at the gate, we'll be looking to long over here ideally into the 180. So 180, 185 could be a good long play on the Jalen's and the DWAP. Uh, or extension to 240, 250 for a short. Uh, Wiza. So why is this a day two? Um, a lot of short trap. I made a video yesterday that I invite you to, to watch it. Um, I put over here the video explaining the long entry that we gave yesterday and that was in room at 294, okay? Uh, so 294, we alerted the yesterday long on Wiza. Over here, you see the live trading video uh, with the alert given at that time. Uh, the 294 was exactly uh, over here, okay? So that was a was not a bad play. It came all the way up, and then over here, major pullback. This morning, my first thought was, okay, we are in gap down, and I'm looking to short pops. This is what I said the first thing in the room. But then I started seeing like volume pushing, volume pushing more volume pushing more and if you're looking at the, the five minutes chart, you see one of the pattern that i like so this point over here we say okay this is a good point for for shorting but once we start like being over here the view up in zealand you can see the pattern right look at the volume coming over here so volume pass over here the almost the 400k uh bull flag over here it has the zealand's breakout and then you can see they broke the 750, 786, the 859, and now the 1060. Uh, we have to understand that yesterday the stock had SSR, had a micro float, 1.7 million float, a low institutional ownership, and the stock had some dilution. All right, so it doesn't mean that a stock has dilution, it will simply die. For example, yesterday we had BTTR, was an SSR, uh, around 17 19 million float it extended till the pre-market eye and it fit all the way down and it was a SAR okay but it really doesn't matter and in that case they didn't even have dilution it doesn't matter if it has dilution it demands it uh, sorry it um, it matters yes the stock has dilution but then you have to think about the scenario the volume um, the price action, uh, understand when short are squeezed. And uh, over here, what we can evince that above 850, all the shorts are trapped. Okay, all the shorts are trapped. So it pushed over here, it held over here, and this is another long play of the JLAN curl. Now, this morning, I'm looking for really being conservative, the gate. Um, for more advanced traders, so not for beginners, uh, look for a potential push to 1150, 12, and if we have a J Slim and stuff, then we can look over here to short on the backside. All right. Otherwise, simply wait, traders, for the B plan, which would be again another dip, fake break on the V web, and then a push back up long. The simple setup as we had yesterday over here. Okay, so Wiza, we're gonna look for those two plan over here this morning, both for uh, under over, okay, or remember in this case a uh, gap and extension play. EDBL over here, uh, gap and crap. So we're gonna put EDBL uh, gap and crap for now. Uh, PLC, what I simply 
uh, stock, sorry, was stock over here with a very, very low volume, very, very thin. Again, what it did even in this case, it gave over here another Zealand curl. Okay, that's your long play in this area over here. So first dip into the Zealand's and then the beast over here is killing. So it worked over here from here till here. Yeah. Um, sorry traders, but I'm also having traders the Academy today. Uh, so this is the three minutes. This is the <clears throat> one minute. And over here for PLC, I would be looking for 11 too short or dip into J lines one too long. So uh, we'll be longing over here at this point, right? Around $9 or short over here into the 11s. Uh, spec, if you know the Italian uh, cuisine, spec means it's a type of prosciutto, so pretty good ham. And I know that Jay loves this stuff because it's like about two days that he's having over here like some very good food. And everybody that comes to the academy, I mean, I, I hope they come for the academy, not really for the food. <laughs> this is MADA. Uh, so this is the alert we gave this morning with timestamps. Uh, 1242, we said to short over here at Jay Slim, exactly at this point. Uh, we have some more confirmation over here where you can add. This is 645. Uh, so it will be just three minutes after my alert. And over here, we have the first target. I also share what uh, uh, we did over here at the Academy. Then you can see that the price holding the J lines, holding the J lines, holding the J lines, holding the J lines. It's always the same criteria. Okay. So if it's not unwinding over here, there must be a reason. So buyers are here all morning. And for me, a good point over here was to look at bookmap and seeing that at this point, the price was absorbed. You see over here, fake breakdown, absorption, and push. Again, fake breakdown, absorption, and push. And again, over and over and over. So at the gate, what I'm looking at, we have like almost three minutes to go. This would be my A plus setup play. So we have to look for that long play here. Okay, and I'm looking over here to see if we have book map. But you have to be very quick on these because as I was talking to Jay, you can only trade small caps with, uh, with hotkeys, uh, especially if you trade the first 30 minutes. You have to be super quick and you have to manage your risk pretty good. The second setup that I'm looking for is six plus for a short. So until six plus, I'm not looking to short here. Uh, VNDA. So VNDA or gap and crap to six to short, six, six twenty, okay, or dip under over uh, five thirty five to long. So we analyze over here all the small caps, the main small caps and large cap and futures for the day. Uh, we're gonna keep now one stock up with uh, with the five minutes. We're gonna cancel all these over here. Now we don't really need. <clears throat> and uh, over here on the left. Okay, Jay, get ready. So, uh, we have Amazon pushing a little bit, AMD uh, unwinding, uh, Tesla over here breaking down. So we have NQ broke that resistance, AMD rejecting, Amazon rejecting. So they're all rejecting the supply area. Uh, Mint over here sideways for now. Tesla breaking down. Instead of VDBL over here, we're gonna put the VNDA. So we're gonna cancel this stuff. Over here, we're gonna put IMVO. So it's the stock that we longed this morning. It's giving another long answer, but I prefer to wait the gate. Yeah. And we have Wiser. So all of these right now. And once we have the setup, of course, we're gonna 
uh, explain the setup. If you see also setup traders, please alert, explain uh, what you saw. Feel free to uh, alert everything over here, okay? So this worked, and this worked over here. Yeah. Okay, let's stay, uh, I'm gonna stay with Tesla first. So remember that we have two cell zones. One is this, one is this. So I prepare here, Tesla. Okay. Twenty seconds to go. Remember, use always your risk. I agree, Mikey, with Poly Day Two. Okay, market opened. Fading over here, Tesla for now. A little bit of wash of the NDA. Pushing over here, traders on IMBO, so IMBO can uh, can push, can extend more again. We have uh, MD fading, following in Q, same Amazon and same Meta. So for today everything is following over here in Q. So right now we're waiting Tesla for a first pullback. See what a big selling pressure on Tesla, liquidity above. And remember, have patience because, for example, uh, Monday we had only two setups at the gate, and then we had all the other setups A plus for a multiple hour return at between 1 and 2 p.m. Uh, let's double check over here. Uh, 6SI, so I'm going to put it instead of this, 6SI, uh, thank you Chris for the alert buddy. Six SI, we have a resistance of 540, uh, nice over here push. Always calm, wait for your pattern. Nobody rushes you to trade to take the trade. Uh, push over here, traders on uh, IMVO. Remember, it's holding the J lines, and uh, the stock is simply showing over here uh, buyers, while VNDA and uh, uh, Wiza are fading. See the, the buyers over here coming for this under over on uh, INVO, INVO under over. Why is it fading? Yep. Look that volume, a strong volume over here. And we're gonna put over here INVO. Uh, that is one setup that I love. Remember what we said at the gate. I made a plan on this, hope you took it. Uh, at least who is in the room, okay? If you're not part of the room, don't trade uh, the stocks. 
but this is our uh, play, plan. J lines dip, Andover, long over here, $2 to 250 Okay, so IMDO per plan, uh, long J lines, $2 to 250 This is a nice return in about what? Four minutes, five minutes out of the gate. Okay, so home run play. Uh, you can also see on bookmap when we had the volume coming in. Uh, this is the long over here. You can see price getting into the J lines uh, below 190, above over here $2, reclaim of the whole dollar number. And you can see over here the volume, right? Look at the, the buyers coming in, and then they broke over here to the upside the point of control. So they are above over here the level where we were trading the majority of the volume before, and then it simply skyrocket over here 50 cents. And this is what I like to do, to see. Beautiful, beautiful, buddy. Very, very good. Well done, Mikey. This was our long play uh, that we gave on uh, uh, this morning on some of these stocks. So remember to go back and check the watch list and everything. Let's look again to small caps, uh, sorry, to large caps. So NQ, it's uh, holding over here that uh, demand area in 950. So we have uh, NQ here holding that resistance over here in 950. Uh, our plan is looking for a lower high and then looking for a short play. So if over here we start rejecting, we'll start be looking for a short into the market. So Amazon, uh, AMD, Meta, and so on, okay? So over here, I want to look for uh, that pattern over here. Remember, we have our push, okay? So this is the lower high formation. It looks like forming over a lower high. And then over here, we can go short with target all the way down. So starting over here to look for a fail, okay? Let's see if we can have that play. If instead we'll push and not make in lower high, then we're gonna simply avoid. Tesla over here simply brainwash, so just fast out of the gate, faded. Uh, we had the trend line break, but I had, had no rejection over here. So really too difficult or yeah. you had to chase to enter this. CXSI came to that 535, 540 and faded. PLC extension to 10 and stuffed. Is it halted? Is it halted? Yeah, it's halted. So we'll be having probably a five to 10 minutes halt on uh, uh, INVO, so we halt at 934.02, so they're going to reopen possibly 939.02. So let's start putting over here INVO. In what I want to look at Tesla, so still making lower highs, lower lows. Uh, meta, uh, so fade over here, 
Amazon got to the 183 and bouncing. Okay, let's look at IMBO. IMBO extension, so sell over here, half of your position is 260. It fails, 240, sell everything. NQ over here giving the lower high, that's your short on NQ. So 944, 945 exactly, buddy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So if NQ fails, then we're gonna be looking for everything to fail, okay? And this is what we are talking about lower high. You can see over here, po price pops, fails. You start getting over here 45, 44. Now you want to see the break of the J lines and then unwind up here. So again, this is the entry point. Uh, you want to put a risk over here now at around 52, 53. So this is our risk. And now we're looking for the first target. The first target, remember, is going to be in this area. Okay, so first TP. And that's a pretty good risk reward ratio. So you're actually having at least three to four. Okay, Hitman. So beautiful over here. And now expect to see Amazon, expect to see Meta, expect to see AMD. Over here, I'm going to put it next to the, those. MD to fail, to continue over here. Uh, the point over here that we had also you all. So I hope somebody took it. This was one of the plan uh, for under over. Tell me, Forrest or Theo, that you took this dip into the J lines, sick, sick, and then push. And Cuba here, first target. So NQ cover half. 17916. Beautiful short play. Okay. Uh, at this point, remember what we're looking for. I'm gonna make this bigger once. One second. So we're looking for NQ to fail to this pre-market low. Still pretty far from there, but that will be our target. We need to break the 17900 amazon has to break down and then we play a rejection uh meta same i don't like to trade meta right now because we are still in this major trading range so you can still see this major support uh what else amd i want to see also rejection so for now I'm not really looking. Also, VNDA start watching traders. VNDA start watching. So we're gonna play one second VNDA. VNDA not a short yet, not a long yet. So VNDA start watching for a short if we get to the 550. That's your short coming in over here. No setups pull and no setups anybody on large caps. Now, no setups, not spending one cent over here to trade these. So let's see, we have some good liquidity over here between 540 and 550, which is this area over here on Bookmap. 
okay? If we get to this book map main level and we're exactly looking for a short. If you see the resistance, you tell me for mm -hmm. the long. Patience on large caps, please. Start watching also traders uh, EDBL, PLC. Okay, start watching PLC. Florian, I saw that push on uh, CXSI, so very, very nice. So this is what I like to see from members over here. Already up the body, 700 bucks for the day. So beautiful work. Buddy? No, see anything yet. Okay. Seems like bars. If you don't see any patterns, you simply wait. Mm. Yeah, but it's also Virgil Slim, so we have 50-50. So in Q in a range, we got the good short, now stuck in a range. So in Q, stuck in range, and now avoid. Start watching PLC. ADBL over here halted, or going to halt. So ADBL is a small cap traders, okay? It's very, very thin. Remember, very thin can really run if finds over here volume. So careful on this, don't short front side, okay? second bar you have to be very very quick okay uh, we are looking over here where to enter on test okay so let's say in this case for Jay for next time one of the setups for the plan that he has is to look for a breakdown of a support 
just like Tesla did. And then looking for a first rejection of uh, a key level. Uh, in this case, we have over here the VWAP, this red line that you see is, uh, is our one of the key levels. Uh, we have also over here the open level. So it's open level VWAP. We're talking about also this on book map. So you can see the price over here rejecting and this would be your play uh, with that risk. So for the next time, but you have to be, you know, focus on that only. Uh, you have to have like a few stocks and uh, not having like me over here that I'm screen sharing like eight, 10 tickers for the day. So be very focused on something. And curious continue to work over here. So still rejecting, making lower highs and lower lows. Also J Slim over here. So next target, we have to look for this previous low, 17A90, okay? So NQ, I'm gonna say NQ equal QQQ. Next TP is gonna be the 17A90. So remember, we need now a breakdown on AMD. We need a breakdown on uh, uh, Meta. We need a breakdown on, a on Amazon. Everything is following NQ. That's the reason why not too long. Otherwise, I mean, you all uh, is a good long play because it's an earning play, okay? So let's review the plan of this morning. Earnings play, watch for a dip at open. If we have book book map showing buyers and big support, then long on dips above 4330, 4360. Risk 1020 cents. Over here, uh, this was the plan this morning. So we actually held over here the support 4340. Uh, we are over here at the J lines. So dipping on the J lines, once reclaims over here the VWAP in 90 May, you can decide to long display. And this is one of the setup that I prefer when we have longs out of the gate. So you all, for who took it, who followed the watch list this morning, simply a major home run. Thank you, I'm winding more, and this is a cues. You can see here as well. So nice pattern. And nice sell off, okay, on that lower high. Remember our entry over here. The risk here, the rejection, first TP. Over here, we can put the second TP right now. Second TP. Tesla, the lows. Uh, Meta, fading, but I want this to be outside of the pure studio range. Amazon, not giving still satisfaction, so we need to wait. And don't trade, as we were saying before, inside this range, uh, meta. So we wanna see a breakdown of this support. So only if we see the breakdown of this, and then we start to see rejection, we're gonna trade. Otherwise, you're still stuck in that range. So I hope you grabbed this morning traders IMBO. That was a big one. Now get out entirely. If 
that long over here. We said 240 drill everything. So IMVO. Out all at So test unwinding, we are going to the previous day low. Now you can see that we broke that 155. So we're breaking this area. Uh, small bounce back up, but we're still in downtrend, still below uh, the VWAP, uh, still below over here at 90 May, and making lower highs, lower lows. So, really, no reason why we would want to change over here the plan if not to look for a short. Good morning, Dario. So over here, this is Wiza. Uh, we had a play this morning here to short the first day slim of the day. There you go. Yeah. See that, mom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the setup we had over here, 11, 11, 10. But I like that beginners trade something like Wiza. So I prefer that uh, traders take stocks like, uh, you know, more like a three, four, five, six dollar stocks uh, and avoid shorting with high volume stocks, okay? At least for newbies. Okay, let's go back over here to uh, some of the uh, stocks that we're following. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry. Just looking at the price section right now, uh, following Wiza. Remember, it's a day two, a lot of shorts trapped, squeezed, okay? You don't want over here to uh, trade now weakness. We are at the previous day high. 
This is the previous day high, okay? So remember, we could bounce over here some. So stay away from shorting this level. Or you short like where we shared before, uh, just name my pattern like this, so the Ys is simply avoided. Uh, the other one is IMBO. So IMBO, we only uh, had the long this morning over here, and this was the second long plan that we shared into the pre-market. So for the screen share, we have the daily support. So IMB over here on watch. EDBL still pushing. not looking too long over here traders uh, on IMVO uh, we have this daily support we have over here um, book map showing some buyers but I want to see a pattern for now I don't have that pattern as well as confirmation if I have that pattern I will alert for here for the room and, and share over here what we're doing uh, why is over here as we said faded uh, this is EDBL so it's a uh, another J line curl at the gate you can see price touching the J lines and simply uh, pushing uh, micro float I will be looking over here 12 EDBL over here only 12 plus too short otherwise avoid it here Look over here, we have a reverse yeah. mm -hmm. um, PLCE, uh, careful on this is earning. Spec was a pre-market fader. Uh, VNDA over here, holding the Three minute J lines. For now, it's simply a fade over here, so no play. And INDO is a stock that I'm watching because if we crack over here, the 390 or four dollars can unwind. Okay. Uh, let's double check you all. No, you all won't be looking for any short. Uh, BS gem on watch I like over here the short setting up over here MD for a short, correct. We had the first one at this level. 
and second one over here. So we're looking at AMD. Uh, Meta needs to break that uh, support to be traded. Amazon over here uh, has some support, interesting, at 183. This is AMD that rejected that high. So remember the plan this morning was to see uh, push to 165 hourly daily rejection. And we had over here uh, these two setups for the short side. Careful traders on uh, IMVO, it can push over here strong. I like over here the volume. So you can see that they're testing the support level. We have the VWAP. We have the J lines. So let's see to find over here an entry. Here's still coming down. We have to wait for that low. Remember, last target. PLC is bouncing from the VWAP. PLC over here push. Waiting still on Amazon, waiting still on AMD, waiting still on Meta. So we start over here along at 240. So Ambo long that 240 the first trade we had a two sorry 154 this morning to 230 then 205 and the over to 280 then over here to 30 and now the third one 
IMVO at 240 long. So you can see the volume coming in now, risk to break even. No. Stay still in. Let's look at the volume. Look at the volume. Look at the volume. <coughs> We're gonna risk it that 240. Let it go over here, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Sell half now. 252, we're selling half. Now risk break even. Good. So 252, out half. Risk now to be a, and TP is going to be 290. So essentially, this now is a risk free trade. Still has a lot of volume over here on VO. You can see buyers, right? Probably we can see 285 to 90. Look at that major catalyst up there. Well, let's see if we're gonna have that push, right? So pretty good over here. So IMVO for everybody that okay, just came. Uh, we are long over here three times. Two forty over here. Good job, Jay. Two sixty. So we are getting to the point of control, that 264 that you see over here in Bookmap. It tells you where it is the, the high volume, where it was traded, right? But I, I care now that we can break that and we can find more steam to get to the 290. You see how they push, mm -hmm. do a little bit of dip. Right here. Exactly. And then they try to push it again. So it's like they they're looking for, you know, like to reload, to reload. And until we see that formation, you know, we we can say they are like bars still in control. Look also at times and sell on that on the right. Fifteen. Yeah, you wanna see those buyers over there like green, green, green coming. You know that if you find a J Slam you're out. Uh PLC, be ready buddy? Yeah. No. Not yet. So stalling over here at the tape. We just need this to hold over here at 245 and then push back up more.
Okay, let's go back one second to large caps. So Tesla, it's uh, unwinding over here below that 155. Amazon over here, nothing. Uh, Meta, nothing. AMD gave a general rejection. Remember, we're still inside that range of yesterday and still inside that uh, pre market range. The only, I would say, positive thing is that we have hourly rejection. NQ. For who didn't come, we're short from. I don't know why this is here. Thank you for who came uh, and was looking at this with us. We're short from here. We alerted 46, 45, this zone. So you can go check on the recording over here. And our target is gonna be this demand zone down here. So pretty good unwind on that. Fail over here on uh, uh, Invo, so allowed in the money. So let's review over here the play that we alert on NQ. Still making our highs lower low, so. Let's stay over here, still short. Breakdown on Wiza. 6SI over here, reclaim. So start watching again 6SI. AMD and Q, uh, more leg down. Meta, Amazon over here, uh, simply slow. At this point, we see that a lot of these small caps fading, uh, like uh, Wise over here. Uh, BNDA is still holding the support at five dollars. 
IMV over here still holding. Again, push on IMVO, and you can see it washes, and then buyers coming back in. So there's still liquidity on. Here, still in this range. Yeah. Everything's still on SIPD over. Yeah. MD, the, the projection, Emerson over here. Look how choppy it was. Over here, never gave you a rejection of the WAP or nothing. NQ fading good. Taz over here gave some VWAP projection and winding. <clears throat> Okay, traders, any questions? We still have uh, uh, 10, 15 minutes together. IMVO again, a push back up again from the J lines. Look at that volume again. These are all momentum trades, and you can look at these uh, finding a level, like daily level over here where we longed, uh, J lines, and then also looking at these with book map. So looking where we have like a break over here and buyers coming in, the break of the buyers coming in. Why is the target will be 650? J Slim on VNDA should fail. Thank you, Chris. Well done, buddy. Mm-hmm. 
Persze, hogy tudjuk, hogy ott hagyja. Uh, two news traders before we close. Uh, so mentoring over here is uh, almost full, but I have one trader that wants to enter and I'm opening uh, for other two seats. And this will be for May after we come back from Madrid, uh, the conference with St. Lucia, the trades and more. Uh, so if you want to register, go at teamfjtrader.co and send an email. Uh, then we will like uh, get back to you. Uh, this is a lot of uh, work, so it's not for everybody. I'm mentoring only traders who become, who wants to become, uh, or a professional, or at least put a lot of work in and become successful and uh, profitable. So this means a daily work. Okay, so you need a lot of homework to do, and it's not for everybody. But of course. And I have like a dozen and dozen of traders who have succeeded and they've changed their life. So again, thank you for following us every single week. Uh, thank you Bookmap for holding these uh, webinars. Again, uh, watch the video again, how we made the analysis on IMVO this morning for the long play. Uh, you all for the long play. Thank you for the short alert and uh, so on. Thank you again, have a good time and uh, good luck for your trading.